Well, festive greetings all round, please. I'm getting into the spirit this year, although it'll be hard to maintain because I'm going to my parents, where for three days Mum and Dad will find things fun that aren't fun at any other time of the year, and will be bound by Mum's Christmas organisational chart. Happy face! Colin, your father's here. <laughs> Look, my fun tinsel tie. <laughs> Isn't that such fun? Oh, let me turn on my fun Christmas socks. <laughs> Kill me. I wish I could stay at home. I mean, that might sound depressing at Christmas, but I've never denied how much fun I have living alone. <laughs> but there's a definite festive positive I've made up with Gary, which is a relief for everyone. Everything okay? <laughs> yes, fine, yes. Apart from the fact that you married somebody for a green card, so have potato for hair. Oh, Miranda. <laughs> I've got Gary a great gift this year, so he'll know I've forgiven him. Done all my shopping online. Delivery will arrive today. Genius. Right, on with the merriment, my chums. <laughs> Cue festive titles. <laughs> Deck the halls with boughs of holly. Fa la 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 la. Tis the season to be jolly. Fa la 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 la. Happy Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve, Eve. Oh, Advent calendar. Oh, can I? Together. Oh. Oh, where's the chocolate? Where's the chocolate? Eaten on the first day of purchase. <laughs> Who can sit in a room day after day when there are little chocolates behind windows, not remove them, eat them, then replace the windows like nothing ever happened? Oh, I can. Because you're an actual and literal tiny little weirdo. And when you go to your parents, can you take my case? Yeah, although I've been thinking, I think I might try and get out of it. La 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 la. Wouldn't it be great to have Christmas exactly how we wanted it? No Christmas chart, no sign reading. Please unwrap your presents neatly so I can iron the wrapping paper and save it for next year. No constant weather reports from Dad. No, I will have to try and get out of it. Trouble is, Mum can preempt him about to think of an excuse and will just talk straight over me. Oh, we'll be going then. Good, because I can't wait to experience it. Right, she's going to open the shop. Oh, will you keep an eye out for my parcels or my presents? I've got to nip to the doctors, because, um... Well, have you ever had... <laughs> I don't know what you're saying, and I don't wish to know. Fine, OK. Oh, no. Hello, Poppet. Stevie. It's OK. Oh, where are you get your tons of us from? It's cold outside. Freezing, isn't it? I hope not, because if that snow turns to slush, we'll get black ice. Absolute death trap. I think we ought to head back pronto. Plus, I, I don't want to miss you being framed. <laughs> Girls, I've chosen something for you for my best Christmas jumper party tonight. Oh, Mum, don't. Listen, about Christmas. So we'll get the Steve costumes and, and pick thinking... you up at the restaurant later. Yes, fine. We've okay. got pink we champagne. Thinking... You. You'll get so totally right. sauced. No, no, no. The thing and is, then Mom, we'll decorate the about, tree. I've got great baubles and lovely. you can do the fairies. Fine, okay. Such okay. fun. Listen, but Steve Such fun. Don't do that. Such fun. Mom. Such Mom. fun. Mom. Mom. Such no, fun. Thing is, oh. Such fun. Nice try, Poppet. Suitcase. Come in. Such fun. Oh, fun. la 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 Oh, Come in, sit down. Wowzers. Sorry? Nothing. So how can I help? Are you married? Um, sorry, uh, I actually thought I was getting a female doctor. Oh, this is Dr. Gale. That's, uh, that's my surname. Miranda Gale. Hmm? What? Sorry? Nothing. So, so are you uh, happy with me? Very. Yeah, sorry. It's just that I'm actually here about a female part, but um, it's all just anatomical to you, right? Of course, of course. Don't worry. So, uh, what's the problem? Well, it's not really a problem, more of a feature. <laughs> <laughs> you see, it's my right... Um, I've got a sort of rash on it. And because the rash was on my... Uh, I thought I'd better get it checked, you see. No problem. Let's have a look. I don't think that's anything to worry about. <clears throat> now, did you, uh, did you eat anything unusual and then notice it? Do you have any nut allergies? I haven't been rubbing peanuts on my breasts. <laughs> well, no, I, I wasn't thinking... Um... No. Saying I haven't been rubbing peanuts on my breasts sounds like I've been rubbing peanuts on my breasts. <laughs> Well, I'll tell you what, if it doesn't settle down in a couple of days or gets any worse, then come back and see me again. Great, OK. Thank you so much, Doctor. Oh, sorry, just FYI, the other breast, completely normal. <laughs> All right, Bobby Dazzler. Steepy, 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 steepy
parcel arrived. A depot card. We tried to deliver, but you were out. This is the smuggest piece of paper in the world. I'm sorry, I had to close the shop for ten minutes just to clear customers. I'm, I'm very hot and anxious, actually. I'm like a mouse in a microwave. Well, can you just get a grip, please, actually? Because a depot card, all my presents. So annoying. Hang on. Now, we deliver Christmas Eve. Thank you. In your face. <laughs> Welcome to UPD Delivery. If you would like to arrange re-delivery, press 1. Please state clearly when you would like the package re-delivered. Tuesday. Did you say... Monday. No, who are you? I'm sorry, we couldn't identify. Tuesday. I'm sorry, did you say... Thursday. Tuesday. Tuesday. I mean, I literally can't make it any clearer. Tuesday. You've gone too posh now. When would you like the package re-delivered? Tuesday, innit? Did you say... Tuesday. Yes. Please confirm. Did you say... Tuesday. Yeah. I mean, if it can't understand that, what's the point? Putting you through to an operator. <laughs> hello, UPD Delivery. Can I help you? Yes, hello. I don't know why I've been put through because I was doing voice recognition. Yes, that's all fine. Your parcel will be delivered tomorrow between 8am and 7pm. And you can't specify a time. I'm afraid we can only give no, you a time period of 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. Give time period of 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. Do you think they get trained in those phone voices? Why is it you never meet anyone in real life who speaks like that? Do you always sit at smart? Yeah. You? So, you're here for a day, package? Yeah. Well, do you like any treatment? <laughs> <laughs> oh, imagine living with a voice like that. Oh. My husband doesn't sing tonight. <laughs> mm, I've missed your bacon. Right, and me? Have you missed me? Uh, no, mainly been the cakes. <laughs> of course I've missed you. Coming up. <laughs> oh, my, are you two... Oh, just, just friends. friends. <laughs> now listen, what time are your mum and dad come to pick you up? Any minute now. Tilly's in Mauritius, you're at yours, it's not fair. I'm going to give it one more shot to get out of it. I cannot face being irrationally irritated for three days. <laughs> Too weak, bumper radio times. Feel the heft of Tilly heaven. <laughs> what day is it? One never knows at Christmas. Thursday, I think. Ah, but which Thursday? It says Christmas Day at the top! <laughs> 23rd, Christmas Eve, Christmas Day! How clever of you. We have the same conversation every year. Fill the heft of Telly Heaven. Which day is it? One never knows at Christmas. Which week is that every day? <laughs> and tonight at the jumper party, I'll be surrounded by Mum's crazy Porsche friends. Last year, I heard one of them say, I take a rubber band to parties, slip it round my glass, I'll easily spot it on a crowded table. <laughs> <laughs> so annoying. And Mum will be at her worst. Oh, come on, she's not that bad. Dashing through the snow, in the <laughs> circus day, or the fears we go, and laughing all the way. Jingle bells, jingle... Isn't it thrilly, Box? <laughs> Come on, Charles! I, I haven't got excited yet. But I, I'm sure it'll hit me at any moment. Tell you, we, we ought to be getting back, because if the car temperature gauge is right, then that drizzle will turn to black ice. Absolute death trap. Uh, don't stand off! <laughs> Oh Mum, wait, listen, uh, uh, about wait. Christmas, I've been thinking it's probably time I spent... Uh, darling, Christmas... darling, I have been slaving for weeks on the Christmas chart. I have bought enough food to last until January the 19th because your father thinks we might get snowed in. I haven't done that kind of panic buy since Labour won the election in 97. <laughs> As of yesterday, the chart includes the perfect Boxing Day ramble and a root vegetable appendix section, so should I die, you'll know how to make parsnip soup. <laughs> you don't realise what I do for this family. OK, OK. Quick right. chop, then. Uh, wait, are you going out like that? No. Yes. <laughs> Look, they'll throw magic. Might try that on your father later. <gasps> steady, boy, steady. Yes, <laughs> Help me. Miranda! Coming, bye. Good luck. <laughs> Caroline has the spare. She'll be sharing with Minty. Beaky's taking the fold down, and Louise wants the coach house, <laughs> which didn't go down very well with Minty, who likes Freddie away from Caroline. Oh, well, you'll need another drink then. Um, yeah. Which one's yours? Oh. Uh, so, what are your sleeping arrangements this year? Well, Stevie's staying with us, so she'll have the spare room, and as usual, Miranda's on the shelf. <laughs> so much fun! <laughs> Right. Oh, hi, Dad. Ah, darling, I, I have just been watching the planet's funniest animals. Hilarious. Now, I said this planet has some very funny animals. And I am privileged to have seen the absolute funniest. Uh, now, Jennifer, you remember Miranda and her friend Stevie? Hello. Yes, of course. <laughs> Nibble? Ah, Jennifer, now, did you drive? Yes. Well, you'll be very careful. Because if that slush freezes... <laughs> It will turn to black, black ice. ice. <laughs> Absolute death, death trap. trap. <laughs> hmm. Miranda, doesn't your mother have wonderful nipples? <laughs> Not a euphemism, I hope. 
You see, no wonder she's single. But talking of which, I must see if the hunk I invited has arrived. Oh, no! Right, that is it. I'm giving her three strikes and we're out of here. Oh. Seriously. Oh, this will help ease the pain. We can't start it. <laughs> remove top, remove icing, remove icing. <laughs> She'll never know. Oh, yes, there he is, Miranda. I... What are you doing? Red-labelled food items are for the big day only. Oh, Lord, I forgot to marzipan my cake. <laughs> Someone hasn't done a Christmas chart. I presume the nuts are right to eat, are they? Uh, now, look, darling, I've spied the man that I want you to meet. Oh, no. Come on, shoulders back, chest out, backside in the next room. Uh, Miranda, Miranda, let me introduce you to Dr Gale. <laughs> Strike one. Hello. Hello. I'll leave you to it. <laughs> Hello. Sorry. Well, this is a bit weird, isn't it? Do we have to pretend like this morning never happened? It's a bit like we're having an affair. <laughs> we could have an affair. Miranda, have you... Oh, hello. Enchanté. Je suis Stevie. Bonsoir, Stevie. Joyeux Noël et bonne année. Oui. So, uh, are you uh, new to the area? Yes, yes, I just moved here a couple of months ago from London. In your TARDIS doctor? <laughs> I guess you're a doctor, so I said you're TARDIS. <laughs> Do you see? Guess, guess, guess you're a doctor. I said you're TARDIS. Why don't you just stop? I would have if I could have. <laughs> so, is that a peanut in your hand? <laughs> What you've done, I was just about to switch on the allure and he would have come to mama. Everybody, can I have your attention, please? Thank you. It's time to announce the winner of the best Christmas jumper competition, and for the fourth year running, it is Robert. Oh. <laughs> ah, yeah, darling, actually, while you're there, why don't you give us a song? Strike two. Oh, no, darling, I couldn't possibly. No, 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 that is not what this... Oh, all right, then. Good King Wenceslas looked out On the feast of Stephen There's Miranda laying about On the feast of Stephen Stuffing all the food she can From the feast of Stephen I won't take her for my wife Nor will I, said Stephen Strike three Right, sit, Miranda, oh, yeah. oh, uh, no, 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 darling, darling, Miranda <laughs> Christmas Day booking just cancelled. Really? Yeah. Well, no, actually, hang on, that's a good thing. Hello, the four of us at mine, a non family Christmas. <gasps> oh, no, get up early for church. Yeah, no overcooked turkey. No naked hide and seek. <laughs> wow, okay. So, um, should we do it? The perfect Christmas at mine? Let's yeah. do it. Yeah. Right. Okay. <laughs> and I've got great gifts arriving tomorrow. Oh, you're notoriously bad at giving gifts. Yeah, I'll believe that when I see it. Hi, Tula Mond, Pixicles. Oh, what are you doing here? Oh, I decided not to go to Mauritius. But the provincials went, but they asked Roops along, and so I thought, like a tea to that Holly Bob. So your ex fiance has gone on Holly Bobs with your parents? Yeah. Which is totally fine. I just have rarely quiet one. Which is totally fine. <laughs> Could I get a massive Pinot? <laughs> oh, bear with. Bear with. Bear with. Oh, they've landed safely. They're already. On the beach, that's good. That's great. Stately fine. <laughs> Spiffulent. Excuse me, Joy. Seriously. Excuse me, Joy. Listen, Tilly, we're having Christmas at mine, just the four of us. Do you want to join? No, as I said, Kong, totally fine. <laughs> yes, Kong. Yes, I do. <laughs> Oh, okay. Right, right. Well, tomorrow night, Christmas Eve sleepover, and I let the festivities begin. Oh, I'm so excited. And I just can't hide it. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I want you, I want you. Oh, isn't this jolly? I want you. Okay. I'm sorry, we can only specify 8 a.m., 7 p.m. for your delivery. Mind you, I'd rather sit in for 11 hours and deal with Christmas Eve shopping hell. Enjoy. Are you sure you're going to be okay, yes? You will make Heather proud. What have you done today? Today, Heather, I will have looked after the shop. I'll be fine. We're not busy. We're not open yet. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Oh my goodness, okay, um, hello everybody, anyone from UPD Delivery? 
No? OK, carry on, please. Hello. Would you like that gift wrap? Uh, yes, please. You would? OK. Really bad gift wrap. <laughs> Okay, that's fourteen ninety nine. Thank you, madam. Would you like that some gift wraps? You would. Okay. Oh, hang on, hang on. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, sir. Um, are you from UPT Delivery? No, you're not. Okay, fine. As you were. There you go. Thank you. Thanks. Excuse me. Excuse me. Are you from UPT Delivery? Oh no, it's you. That sorry, you were leaving. So sorry. I'm getting into a bit of a state. Just have it, please. Have it. Take it. Next. Go. Thank you. Are you from UPT? No, that's you leaving. Fine. Do you? Are you from UPT? No, browse, browse. I thought you were you. You were you. Can't leave. Carol singers. I need to leave. Well, you can't. Sorry, get down. Get down. Hide. Carol singers. Shh. You're going to sit. You can't leave. Carol singers. Okay. We've got to one. Hide. Get down. I will not have my perfect Christmas ruined by standing awkwardly in front of a group of people whose singing ability is inversely proportional to their enthusiasm. <laughs> Shh. Stay there. to the storm, I tit your noses. He's gonna leave because you are scaring me. Hello. <laughs> Hello. All right, Sam. Don't look so good. I'll be out in five years. Well, because it's like a prison divider. Huh? All right, as you wish. Uh, you have a parcel for me? It takes 24 hours for the pack needs to be returned to the depot. 24 hours? Where does it... Where does it say that? It doesn't say that. I mean, where does it say that? It says it there. OK, but could you please just check in case it's come back? Next. Oh, now, come on. It's all my presents, Ray. And I've got a gift for Gary, and he doesn't even believe I've got any presents this year. I know you don't know him, Ray, but that's not the point, is it? With... Ooh, hasn't he got a lovely package? <laughs> How is that not funny, Ray? It's a classic. <laughs> Sorry to rant, I'm just a little overexcited. I'm spending Christmas with friends for the first time. What about you've got lovely plans? No, I'm on my own. My wife just left me. Sorry. <laughs> Did she uh, leave a card so you could collect her later? <laughs> now, is the van likely to come back? Yeah. The driver will be coming back because it's my van. I was off work this morning, my hip. Yeah, can I, I stop you there, Ray, and I'll tell you for why I'm not interested. <laughs> Thank you. Now, can I wait for the van? No, we're closing now. I'm closing. Goodbye. No, Ray, it's not It's Christmas. No, Goodbye. Actually, no, I I've will got, take some food. Next matter. Oh, we don't know. Conveyor bill to some kind. Um, um, <laughs> <laughs> no dancing prayer. No dancing prayer. Guys, no dancing prayer. when Stevie went to the loo, we had a look at the shroud card she was acting out. No sex, please, we're British. We put it back and made a pact never to guess it. It's very funny. I'm taking my mind off the depot debacle. <laughs> Oh, I know, I know, I know. What's the second word again? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> Drilling. Drilling. Ski Sunday. <laughs> Dance size. Yeah. Hula 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 hula. <laughs> Titanic. Have you really got no idea? Uh, no sex for the British. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> It's quite hilarious, isn't it? Right, is it time to wend our way to the kingdom of Bedibyes? So I have made up my room into a guest room with a futon on floor and someone can share the sofa bed with me. Thank you, Wind. Wind. Good luck, Gary. <laughs> Just uh, my brush my teeth. OK, sure. I know we're just friends, but it's so awkward sharing a bed. Right, now the question is, do I take my bra off? Because then, in the morning, there'll be two jellies sliding down a plate. Look, that's the only trouble. No, I'd better put my bra on. No, but then he'll see me wearing a bra in bed, and that would look odd. No, I'm going no bra, and let's hope when I turn over I don't do the breast clap. <laughs> right, OK, now, oh, morning breath. Should I set an alarm at five and suck a mint, maybe? Or what happens if my pyjamas ride up? Or down, because they do that, right? OK, stop panicking. Take bra off and act casual. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Wow. 
So, um, you're going to touch up? Oh, well, I like being on the left. Right, OK. Um. Um. Cold bed dance? Yeah. <laughs> That's better. This is going to be a great Christmas. Mm -hmm. You know what? Don't worry about getting me a present because I've got the best present I could possibly have. I've got my friend back. Oh, really? No, where's my present, you bitch? <laughs> No. no. What was that? It was a duck quacking. A duck? Quacking, yeah. Hey, it's Christmas! So, who wants breakfast? I think I might have a mince pie for breakfast. Well, why not? I'm going to say mine for the Queen's speech. And I might have mine instead of Xmas Pudulant. We can do exactly what we want. Yeah. Yeah. Do we have to wear a hat? No, you don't have to wear a hat, but also, you could wear a hat. Mm. Welcome to Miranda Man! <laughs> If I don't cut it up, it won't cook, will it? Yes, I do. Because I need it. I should have that before. Ow! Tea, curry sauce, bitch! So, Mr. Chef, I'm fine. Obviously. Oh. Can you just keep it down, please? Just please. Oh, no, Clive just pulled my cracker. Well, I'm sure he didn't mean to. I did mean to. Clive Evans! Oh, pull me on, cracker. Oh, well, I bet you're used to that. Stevie Sutton, that's unacceptable. Honestly. Ow! Gary, this is hopeless. Stevie wants to eat at three, but that's when Clive wants to walk. Everyone wants crackers at different times. Do some planning. Make a chart. Don't say that. We might as well be at Mum's. Oh, yeah, what's Christmas Day like at your Mum's? Really good. <laughs> this isn't working, is it? No. Okay, don't tell the others. Let's go to Mum's. Yes. Okay. What's going on? Shh. Don't tell the others. We're going to go to Mum's. Right. Okay. What's happening? Shh. Don't tell the others. We're going to go to Mum's. Wow. Okay, do it. Shh. Don't tell the others. We're going to go to Mum's. Why am I whispering? This is all of us. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Turkey will be ready in half an hour. Are you sure you've got enough for us all, Pen Pen? Of course. I knew Miranda would be back. I have the perfect Christmas. Oh, oh, lonely straggler alert. Everybody, this is Ray. Oh, no. He used to be our postman. Hello, Hello Ray. Ray. Hello. Hope I'm not too late. No, not at all. You said you'd be here between three and four. And you couldn't be more specific, Ray. Hang on, Ray. How's your hip? Did you bring your van? Yes. Could I have my parcel? All my presents? Well, it is against protocol, but uh, that would be a pleasure. Oh, lovely, Ray. Come on, everybody. It's gorgeous. Thank you. Merry Christmas. <laughs> what a lovely ending. <laughs> We wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. The tidings we bring to you and your King, we wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Merry Christmas and a happy new year. Good tidings we bring to you and your king. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a happy new year.